On another matter, later today, the Senate will vote on the confirmation of William L. Campbell, Jr. to serve as a U.S. District Court Judge for the Middle District of Tennessee. Mr. Campbell's nomination is not controversial. Like the other three district court nominees before the Senate this week, he's well qualified. They are the kind of nominees who, until recently, would have sailed quickly and smoothly right through the Senate. So why will their four nominations consume a week, a week of the Senate's attention? Why do we need to file cloture on each and then exhaust the full 30 hours of debate? The reason, Mr. President, Senate Democrats are choosing for partisan reasons to make these nominations take as long as possible. Their goal is to waste the Senate's time and prevent the President from promptly filling judicial vacancies. 2017 was a historic year of partisan obstruction by our Democratic colleagues, even for uncontroversial judges who went on to unanimous or near unanimous confirmation votes. Our colleagues across the aisle used every possible procedural roadblock to delay and to drag their heels. Now, 2018 is unfortunately starting off the same way. Mr. Campbell is a Marine Corps veteran, a well-respected lawyer. His record is not partisan. His nomination was reported out of the Judiciary Committee, Mr. President, on a voice vote. I look forward to the Senate confirming him, albeit after our Democratic colleagues waste more of the Senate's time. And I implore our Democratic friends to turn the page on the needless obstruction and permit the Senate to function smoothly so we can attend to more of the people's business. Now, on 